Yo, what is good everyone? Today we're back with another YouTube video and today we have a banger video. So first of all, what we're gonna be teaching you guys is how to take a long form YouTube video, kind of like this video right here, and I'm gonna take it into a short form content that you can repurpose for Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube shorts. Now I'm gonna be going step by step on how I do that process. Now it's not gonna be a long video because it shouldn't take too long, especially if you already have the YouTube edit video edited. Let's get straight into this video. We're gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve right now. Let's get it. All right guys, so in here, DaVinci Resolve, I'm using the studio version, by the way. But yeah, we're gonna get it straight into this video. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I'm able to just turn this into one quick short form piece of content, right? So this is just the intro to my last YouTube YouTube video and all I'm gonna do is just chop it up so that I could repurpose it for short form content like IG Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, etc. to pr basically promote my YouTube, right? That's what essentially what we're doing here. So there are certain things that we're gonna have to do. Um, this is just how I do it. Now that I know there's so many other ways, but what I did here is I took all the things that I don't need to use anymore, I disabled them and I pulled them away from the clips that I am going to be using. So now in the timeline, I know you can create a new timeline, whatnot but I'm just gonna keep it simple because I know I'm not gonna need this project file again. So I'm just gonna hit Shift 9 and just reverse these. So I'm gonna do 1080 and then 1920. Save it and then now we're at short form content style. So now majority of this is cut up, but I'm just gonna basically take out anything that I don't need. So for instance, like this beginning. What is up guys? Today we are back with another YouTube video. I'm, I'm, not, I'm kind of in like a weird scenario. See, like I don't need that beginning, so I'm just gonna take that out. YouTube sake, we're filming this intro right here. So like, I'm just gonna start it on today. You know what I mean? And then we'll do that. Bring this back up. Today I have a huge announcement for you. You guys. Today I have a huge announcement for you guys. Today I have a huge announcement for you guys. I have my very first plugin coming out and I'm so... Today I have a huge announcement for you guys. I have my very first plugin coming out and I'm so excited to announce I've been working on this for three to four months. It's been something crazy like that. It's been a crazy journey. Anyways, guys, it is called Pre-Animate. It'll pop up somewhere on the screen. Animate, it'll pop up somewhere on the screen. So <clears throat> this clip right here was actually already a short, so I imported it and made it long form. So I'm literally just bouncing back and forth, which is super cool. But I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I was able to do this effect. Um, what I have right here is this shake. Um, if you guys want me to release this shake preset, let me know and I'll do it for DaVinci Resolve because this is what it looks like. And then right here, I have some clips that got messed up, so I'm not gonna be able to show the full thing. But I'm actually not gonna do these clips right here. So I'm actually gonna delete these because I, like I said, I don't need them. And then I'm just gonna finish out the outro. But yeah, guys, let me know if you want that motion pack. But um, anyways, right here I have an adjustment clip which basically just zooms in to the right left. And uh, essentially I'm just gonna change that. So going to Fusion Overlay and the effects, I have Magic Zoom applied onto my video. I'm just gonna scale this out a little bit, right? And then I'm gonna bring it over right there so that it zooms in on the right thing. I'm actually just gonna do it a little bit more. So about mm, 0.3, 0.3, we'll do that. And then make sure we're putting that X on like my main focus point. So I can actually show you guys how I was able to make this animation. So I have my pre-animation preset pack called right to left. This is actually the first link in the description, but as you see down here, it's called pre-animate. It's a bunch of presets that you just drag and drop and it's ready to go. It's better than Mr. Alex's text pre-animations pack. I tested the difference and mine are a million times better. So if you guys want this preset pack, it is down in the first link in the description. A lot of people are grabbing it and I've had so much good reviews and people say that it's like way better than Mr. Alex Tex. Um, it's way more simpler and it's just a drag and drop. Um, you don't have to do anything to it. Um, but yeah, this is what I did. So as you can see right left, this is without the animation. So I just have it pointed up like that. I have it curve up like that, right? And then now watch this. I'm just gonna drag right to left on and then we'll see what it does. Just does that little effect right there. Now pair it up with Mr. Alex Tech's Magic Zoom, and you have this. I'm on the and then I'm just gonna copy over this shake and actually make it just a little bit longer, reactivate it, um, and then I'm gonna. I'm on the explainer. And then I'm gonna take this audio track right here where it gets here. 
and I'm gonna take it back up to number six, which has this underwater sound effect like this. You guys can probably hear it. I'm about to explain it right now, but this is a DaVinci Resolve plugin. This is for mainly content editors, but it could be for anyone. But anyways, we're gonna hop into DaVinci Resolve right now, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly how this works. But where you can get this is the, the link, link down in the, this is the link down in the description. But continue watching this video because I'm gonna show you exactly how it is used in DaVinci Resolve. Let's get it. So I have this text that I have, and I literally just dragged down on down up for pre-animate. So down up, just gonna delete it and show you guys. Um, right there, just simply plop down, down up. I'm gonna size it up a little bit. And then yeah. Down in the description, but continue watching the- If you guys are wondering how to get this underwater sound effect, I'll show you guys right now. It's actually super, super simple. So navigate over to the music page and go onto like a lower track, a track that you're not gonna wanna put a bunch of sound effects on. Because preferably, you don't want this to affect any other f sounds, like your camera clicks, camera snaps, etc., cetera, um, which I also have in my first link in the description, um, because it won't sound good, right? So you only want it for the audio. So right here I have audio six, right? And I only have it for the audio that I want it to sound underwater and like juicy and deep and girthy, right? So um, come over here. You'll have to slide, slide over till you see six. And uh, you're gonna get this 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 uh, this blue solid line right here. All you have to do is double click and hit band six. And mine's already down here, but it will be up here like this. Simply just drag it down until you see this in the 400s. And then you're good to go. You can also add some reverb if you want to, but that's totally optional. Animate, it'll pop up somewhere on the screen. I'm about to explain it right now. So right here for this, I'm literally just gonna grab some of my sound effects from my sound effect pack. I'm gonna grab, mm, let's grab this one. I'm about to turn it down a little bit and then we should be good to go. I'm about to ex explain it right now, but this is a DaVinci Resolve plugin. This is for mainly content editors. Um, and then now, um, really I like to keep my shorts simple. So for this beginning, I'm literally just gonna come to my video come to smart reframe and I'm going to auto reframe my subject. Now, obviously what we have to do next is uh, add captions. So once you reframe your subject on all of them, um, what I'm simply going to do is I'm just going to simply come down to timeline, create subtitles. I'm going to leave my character at 10 per line. So now I'm just going to monitor my captions um, and I'm going to take off this upbeat music. No one really wants that. All right, captions should be good. Now I'm gonna use uh, I'm gonna use the the free plugin called Snap Captions. So I'm just gonna go to my workspaces, scripts, comp, Snap Captions, and then we're gonna keep Jeremy on. Remove punctuation. Go to uppercase and generate my captions. And now that you have that, you have basically repurposed your content. You can add like zooms. You can add all sorts of different like things like overlays and stuff. But honestly, I like to keep it simple. I like to just this is how I repurpose my content. Now, when I export it, I'm just going to crop my um, thing to make it fit. But anyways, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.